When evaluating preparation in Clay County, we met a man with a green thumb. We tie everything up against the fence to secure it. Mike Elia, owner of another Bloomin' Nursery, a longtime local business owner dedicated to keeping the community and beyond vibrant and flourishing. One of the main differences with us is that we're a local grower. However, we're here after the storm. We are a full landscape company, debris removal. We can do all of that. Details are important when it comes to storm prep. You gotta make sure that it's secure. Mike explains that one small there, hole in a greenhouse wall could result in a total roof loss, resulting in over $10,000 in damage. The biggest thing is traffic flow and sales. Um, they, they do take a pretty big hit. As preparations wind down, Mike left us with this reminder. Be safe and follow the warnings that are given by the local government and be ready to help your neighbor. Everyone is packed up safe and secure. The doors are currently closed, but will open after it's safe to do so. Don't forget, just like Mike said, storms take a toll on businesses that rely on foot traffic and phone calls to keep them going and keep their mouths fed at home. So with that, shop online, support your locals, and don't forget, after the storm, stop and smell the roses, or in this case, the mums. Janet Angel from Clay County with Channel 4, the local station.